Okay. Uh, pertaining to the case already in court, I just want to have a few idea of what is happening. Could you please tell me what? How does it really start? Um. You know, to be frank, I think it's a racial issue. You know what I'm saying? It bring me the memory of the apartheid. You know, that a black person shouldn't be. You know, black people. You know, black man is difficult to. You know, to be in the white neighborhood. You know? It just happened like I was walking in the town and I stopped to some white guy trying to make a London accent. He tried to talk to me, so I just stopped and have a conversation with him. Talk to him. That's it. A couple of two times I walking in the area, I got arrested for harassment. Even they charged me with stalking as well, but they, they remove the stalking and make it harassment. You know, they see me in the town, they, they, I get arrested. Whatever I am, they catch me and put me in the police station. I've tried to explain to them over and over and over that this is what happened. This is what happened. I'm still getting arrested and arrested and arrested. You know, but. I just don't know, you know. I don't know this person. She doesn't know me. I don't know her anywhere. It's just coincidence. We just I stop and talking in the shopping mall. I don't know the person. I'm getting arrested, arrested for harassment and getting locked up. On the fifth of July, you were supposed to be in court. Right. So what happened? Why did you go to court? So what did they tell you before then? No, because of that issue, you know, because this is a small town. They told me not to walk, go to Lento Pro, don't go to shopping mall. So that means I don't have my own freedom by going to talking to a stranger. I don't have my own freedom even go to bank or go to job center because of I didn't want to be in the area. So I just move away from the area, you know. So there they are saying that I'm supposed to go to court. I went to London. They say I'm supposed to go to court. I forgot my court date. So I was sitting somewhere in the bench quietly. I went to see my lawyer anyway, and my lawyer writing in a piece of paper that it was 24th, I'll go to court. So I thought it was 24th. So I was sitting somewhere on the bench, and a policewoman came to me, a white woman came to me, and arrested me. You know, that I failed to go to court. I had a job as well. I said to him, listen, I've got a job, I have to go tomorrow. He said, don't worry, we'll deal with you and let you go. My brother, they locked me up. You know what I'm saying? So the next day, they took me to court. The next day. So what will you say? Will you say because of your color or because yeah, why I think, do you think this is coming up? I think normally, you know, it's, it's, you know, I think it's a color issue here. You know, it's a really a, a racial issue here because, you know, I have an experience that in the past. So I got arrested. Back in the days, I used to get angry and I don't understand what is going on. But I've, I've known because I had experience of being arrested in a similar situation like that. So I just stay calm and deal with them because the more you get angry, because they want to piss you off, you know, they know that it's not right, but they want you to explode, you know, get anger, you know. So the more whatever come out of you, the more charges they're going to charge you that you've done this and you've done that and you've done that. So because of that reason, I just stay calm. I don't even want to be in the area. You know, it's, a, it's just a racial issue. You know, black man shouldn't even be talking to a white woman. That's because of that, you know. Just being friendly. It's, I think it's a common issue. You mentioned that there was a time they mentioned something like terrorism. What, what yeah, there was a time, you know. There was a time I went to, when I came to this town, I went to a nightclub with a friend of mine. I was inside a nightclub, came out to have a cigarette. I gone outside. I'm coming back in the nightclub. But they didn't allow me in. And I said, I've paid the money to get inside the club. And everything. But they just threw me outside the place. I got really angry, but there was another black man who was being attacked inside the nightclub. So they called the police and the police came and arrested the guy inside the nightclub. So when they came outside, I was outside the nightclub too. I just argued with the bouncers that why did you throw me out? I needed my money. So the policewoman, they told me to live in the area. I was that, I was that angry, you know? I was that angry. So when I was living in the area, to be frank, I was that angry. I just gave my finger to the police. You know? They ran after me. I got arrested together with the guy who was arrested inside the club. And they took her to the police station. They accused me of me being terrorist, talking about La Wakuba, La La Wakuba. You know? And, you know, me and the other guy, we went to court. 
but I think the other guy fight for compensation because he got injured and things like that. So Sudanese, I think it's a Sudanese guy. They pay him some money because he wasn't right. He wasn't right. He wasn't right. So this is what black people were facing in the in, in, in medicine. So white neighborhood that black and white cannot 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 we, we are not allowed to be in the area. Is ridiculous, but everyone got freedom, and I'm saying we have a free. We are human beings as well. We have a freedom to move about and do what we have to do. So, you know, telling somebody don't go to shopping mall, don't go here, don't go here, for not doing nothing. You know, it's just ridiculous. You know. So when is the next day for the court hearing now? I think it's, a, it's coming Friday. Okay. Yeah, this week Friday. Oh, that's Friday. Okay, yeah. I will see you then. Okay. Okay. No see problem. you on Friday. Okay. Morning. Like you've mentioned that uh, your next court hearing date will adjourn to 24th of August, and this is 24th of August, which is Friday mm. morning. And uh, you're supposed to go to work, right? But yes. unfortunately, because of this court case, you can't go to work. Mm. Now, could you please just tell me what was the outcome today? Boy, the outcome is, you know, is depressing, man. You know, I went to the court, the police, the, the, the lawyer told me that the police cannot find no evidence, they, you know, they find a CCTV, CD, whatever, but it's missing and all that, you know, but I think they cannot find the main, you know, anything about me, so they said they journey to, to November 25th, but it's making me depressing, you know, this is ridiculous, you know, I'm supposed to be at work this morning. And again, I have to go to work. You know, I think this is a racial issue, you know. You know what I mean? So, just our people, we have to stick together, you know what I mean, and fight for each other. You know, slavery time is over. You know, it's just ridiculous. You know, you know yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, at the moment I'm emotionally and mentally deprived, you know, because of the bill condition, you know. They've still been giving me the same bill condition of not going to certain areas, you know, in the town. But this place is a small town. You're definitely gonna be in that area, and you're gonna be. Yourself. Do they have specific area that you cannot go to? No, they told me not to go to the Lintop Road, not to go to the town centre, you know, not to go to them areas. You know what I mean? The Lintop Lint Road is the main road, the main road in that in, in in the town, and you definitely have to be on that road which you're gonna be yourself into trouble so I don't know I have to go all the way around it if I want to go it's ridiculous